Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be continuing my look at keyframes, and I'll be making a channel bug. It's a bit like a watermark on a photograph, but actually it's on video. So let's jump in and see how we get on. So here I am in Photoshop, and you can see I've already got my layers already sorted. I've got my video layer inside my video group, and then I've got a text layer on top of my video group that says at tip squirrel. And it's this that I want to animate to make my channel bug. Okay, let's get to work. On my tip squirrel layer, I'm going to twirl it open so that I can see all the things like in keyframe. Now, one of them in there, you'll see is style. So let's move my playhead on about two seconds and click on the stopwatch for style. So now I'm telling Photoshop, I want to animate this. And everything that is set in the layer styles right now is how I want it to start. Let's go on about half a second to a second and go into my layer styles. Now, one of the cool things here is that fill opacity is part of layer styles and can be animated. So I'm going to bring my fill opacity down to zero and click OK. Now you'll notice that it didn't put a keyframe in. I found that sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But it's no big deal to put a keyframe in. Just click on the diamond shape here and it will add it. And sure enough, it's now animated. I'm going to make sure that I'm on this diamond just by using the arrows here. And I can go across just another little bit and I'm going to go back into my layer styles. Now this time I'm going to add in a couple of layer styles. Let's put a quick stroke in there, white. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time here. That's not what this video is all about. Let's do a quick inner glow as well. Let's bring the size up just a little bit. Let's make that white as well. And reduce the opacity just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to click OK there. So there's my channel bug. So what's going on here is that we're normal up into this keyframe. Then the fill gets reduced to zero. But then up comes our layer styles. So let's run that through. Normal, fill down, layer styles up. Right, let's go back to that one. Now, of course, I could do this all as one go. So let's click on that keyframe and delete it. Click on the arrow to go back and very quickly just add those in again. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Wish I'd save them, but there you go. And then how do we go in a glow, didn't we? With a white. Very quickly there we go good i'm going to click ok and now that's all part of that one keyframe so now it's normal fill goes down layer styles come up all as one go let's play that through good stuff all right it's a bit strong at the moment but that's okay because you'll notice that we can also animate opacity so i'm going to leave it on screen just for a second or so and then animate the opacity so i've just clicked on the stopwatch there and then come along about a second ish and reduce the opacity now to about 20 percent there we go that'll do me 21 so there we go so normal fill and layer styles and then opacity takes it down now at any point of course I could bring the opacity back up again just to strengthen it just for a wee while. So let's add in another keyframe there. So, okay, we said 21% is fine until we get to here and then bring that back up to 100%. There we go. So now we go dip down, playing through the movie, and we want to enhance a little bit just for a little while and then put it back. Now to put it back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw around the two keyframes here there's no marquee, but you are drawing around them. There we go. When I let go of the mouse, it highlights both of them. And I can right click and copy and then right click and paste. And it will paste them down wherever the playhead is. So now I've gone, we go down a bit. We come up for a short while and then we go back down again for the rest of the movie. So there we go. A very quick and easy channel bug right here in Photoshop. Don't forget to subscribe for all kinds of Photoshop goodness, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye for now.